Welcome to the Essence of You podcast. My name is Stephanie Schechter. I'm an entrepreneur, conscious wellness coach, and Reiki practitioner. My goal with this podcast is to empower you to live as your most authentically aligned self, provide tools for you to harness the infinite healing power within, and share some insight on how to do so. Now, let's get to the show. I just wanted to pop on here today and just remind everybody how powerful they are. You are so powerful. You have the ability to create, to be, and have whatever you want in life. Like, there is nothing that is off limits to you. Nothing. The only limits you have are the ones that you place on your own self. Your mind places on yourself or outside influences where if that's the case, you have to remember that it's simply just projections of people's own fears and limiting beliefs. And yes, I get, because I've been there, I get that it can hinder you. It hindered me for a very long time where I would just listen to what everyone else had to say and bypass my own internal voice. It took me a while to peel back the layers and heal trauma and get to the root that I know what's best for me. This is going to all of you. For you to understand that you don't need anybody to tell you what to do. You don't need any coach. You don't need anybody to tell you the answers, to get approval. Yes, I agree. Having a mentor is amazing. I believe it can help us grow. It can help us learn in areas that we're not familiar with. It can help us just like traject forward. And at the same time, you have all the answers within. You are completely capable of learning, fine tuning, and understanding your own guide, your own clock. We all have different paths. Every single one of us has a different path. We have completely different walks. We have completely different experiences in this world and lessons to learn. It's not going to look the same for two people. It's just not. The second you take that pressure off yourself and remove the comparison aspect is when you can start living a little bit more free. Because this is your world. This is your life. It's your creation. Your perception of reality is what is inside you projecting outwards. So if you're someone that sees the beauty and stops to smell the roses, I say that because I do, and just loving anything, the sound of the birds, the trees around you, that tells you a little bit about yourself. If you're cynical and pessimistic and a woe is me, this is always happening to me, you can get a grasp of what's going on in your internal world, your thoughts, because your thoughts project outwards and create your reality. And it's your belief system, right? (laughs) I always joke that, especially with my company, Steph's Best, and that's another thing, I love this product. I created it out of a need to go on an anti-inflammatory diet due to health issues. And that's not really what I was thinking of, oh, I'm going to start a company to make my own company. No, I just did it out of joy because I loved it. I had hit a problem. I found a solution and here we go. And fast forward to now, I see way back started a couple years ago, but way back, I it was at least 15 years ago, I'd say. 15 years ago, I remember specifically eating peanut butter out of the jar because I was even one of those kids. I was a teenager, young teen, eating at the time Peter Pan out of the jar. And I said, I'm going to start my own nut butter company one day. Completely forgot about it. But it was, it was all the way back then that seed was planted. I had said it. I don't even remember the thought process of what was happening. And just recently, I remembered saying that. And then here I am with my own, it's not a nut butter, it's nut free, but 
same, same, a nut butter alternative. And it's just, (laughs) I spoke it into existence 15 years ago. And here we are. And in order for that to happen, there were some health issues that went down to go on this, you know, no nut, no dairy. It was fully a SIBO diet at the time to holistically heal my gut. And that led from one thing to another, creating this masterpiece. And I think it's it's my favorite thing. If y'all haven't had it, highly suggest. I will leave the info in the show notes. It is the best sunflower butter you will ever try in your life. I did not like sunflower butter on its own. I created this. It's like a cookie. The cacao tastes like a brownie, especially if you heat it up a little bit. It is just divine. No seed oils, no refined sugar, just super clean, whole food ingredients. Anyways, I digress. All that to say, your thoughts, that one thought, I spoke it out into existence. It happened, you know, 15 years later. However, that doesn't mean to ever be doubtful. So people will get stuck on the how. Do not get stuck on the how. The how doesn't matter or the when. It's having the faith that it is going to happen and work. Okay, follow me here. Some things will happen in your life If something is crumbling or, you know, you speak out, I want a job promotion or I want to start this business and the job you're at or the clients you have, they just crumble and melt, right? That is not a bad thing. That is a good thing because that shows you that something's falling and crumbling for something even better to grow in its place. Sometimes we need that shift, that shake to start fresh, to start us over in the right direction because we wouldn't have taken that initiative had it not crumbled on us. So when you wish for something and hope for something and you're constantly emitting this frequency that this is what you're going to get and something so-called negative happens, it's not a negative. It's the most positive thing. So... I invite you to just get excited about it because it is melting away what is not for you to bring up what is. And the stigma around things falling and we don't know why things happen. We we don't really know. We think we do. We, We don't always know the whole story. We don't see all of it, right? We only have a small radar screen. And that essence, the, the, when you feel good, that is your guidance to knowing that you're on the right track. Like, oh, I don't know where this is going to come from or how or when, but I feel so excited because I know it's close. It's in that realm just outside of what I can see, but I can feel it because I feel good and I feel excited and I am just joyful in everything that I do in this walk, even though it doesn't make sense to maybe me or frankly anybody else, but it doesn't matter. Follow that inner guidance. This all goes back to sinking in and being able to be in tune with yourself. No one can tell you how to do it. They can show you. It takes practice. It's not this this steps, these steps that you follow. That's not how it works. It is trial and error. It is learning to quiet and getting comfortable using different tools and techniques that takes time to embed in your system. Life isn't about becoming you. It's about unbecoming, taking away the conditions that were given to you at such a young age, just like, It's a whole reconditioning phase to be able to be you fully. Judgments aside, thoughts aside, other people's opinions aside, this is your realm. This is your reality. This is your hub. Honor that. I invite you to start practices that sink you into your body, that quiet your mind. It could be journaling, meditation, gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most powerful thing that you can do because if you're grateful for this couch that I'm sitting on, 
the ability to eat healthy food, that you can walk, that you can smell and see the beautiful flowers outside, that you can hear the rain and the wind and the birds. Those little things, being grateful for what seems to be just an everyday existence, it heightens other things to be grateful for and brings in more things to be grateful for. It's all in the little stuff that adds up. It's a compounding effect. Build on it. So you're feeling doubtful. Please just know that that's the quickest way to turn away anything that you are desiring. Doubt will kill it. Your frequency that you're emitting constantly of your thoughts and your beliefs is bringing back to you the same. So if you want something extravagant or you know you're looking at your vision board you're like oh that would be really nice but that's uh, I don't know that instantly cuts it you're cut you just cut the cord don't do that if it's too big and you can't help but feel doubt bring it down to something that you're not doubtful about and then once that comes in start to raise it be a little delusional it's all good the more delusional the better <laughs> I hope this was helpful today, and if you enjoyed it in any way, I would appreciate a review, comment, like, share, so that this can resonate with a friend, a family member, anybody. I'm just, my hope is to help and inspire as many of you as I can. Let me know what you like in the comments, and I will catch y'all next time. As always, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I love you.